Good day, good people. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button, hit that notification button bell so that we can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So that one, but there are some things that I want to get into when we're talking about Miss Sexy Red. Now, congratulations are in order because she just gave birth to her child. And while in the hospital, she, you know, had um, one of her stylists come in and, you know, whipped her up and, you know, hooked her hair up and stuff. And she had a mini little baby photo shoot inside of the hospital. Now, after she posts these pictures, the caption that she decided to put is she couldn't wait to get discharged so that way she can go spin the block with the guys. And honestly, I just want to say, as a grown person, you are free and you have free will to do whatever it is that you want to do in this world. Yes, you absolutely do. But... And she's not a role model. She doesn't want to be a role model. And she, you know, it's not her fault that people do tend to look up to her and that young girls do tend to look up to her. But it is just so sad to see how, you know, not too many people were saying mean things to Sexy Red. Now, I granted Sexy Red and Krishan Mark are two different people, but in the aspect of both of them having their child and then quickly going back out to being outside, basically. No one is really saying anything. You know, there's a certain, a few people who are saying certain things, you know what I'm saying? But there, there's not much controversy or not many people saying anything or suggesting that Sexy Red take it easy and stay at home, rest with her child. And we know that this is not her first go around, but it's like, this is kind of your first go around with having, you know, major success and major money and being in a totally different environment, being in a totally different mindset than you were the first time that she had her child. You know what I'm saying? So with this aspect, I it would be nice and I would love it if she would, you know, take some time to just heal and to really, you know, take in your child being small and innocent right now. Um, because I can just see her getting back to being on the road, going back to being on tour. And of course, her child will be with her more than likely. But at the same time, you're not going to be able to be all the way there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was already a hectic year with her being pregnant. She didn't slow down not once. When we found out that she was pregnant, she was still going on tour. She was still performing. She was still dancing, doing all this other kind of stuff, which is cool because you don't have to sit down. But I just feel like, a lot of people got on Krishan Rock when she was going through. And like I said, I know that the situations are not 100% the same, but these two women are similar in a lot of ways. And like I said, these women, you know, I know they're not 100% the same, but they were in similar situations, at least with the career aspect of what they have going on and them both being pregnant. So I do hope that Sexy Ray is able to, you know, she's going to be herself. So it could have just been a caption that she just posted up. It could have been a caption that she posted up to get people to talk. No telling. But even the pictures that she decided to take inside the hospital, to me, it's just, it's like, you know, no disrespect, but it's like a lot of the things that Sexy Red does, I believe, are for attention and are attention seeking because... You taking those type of photos that she took inside the hospital, the way she was, you know, is before she was pregnant, at, during pregnancy, that's just, I honestly just think that it's just her. And now that she's on this train, it's like she's going to keep going and she's going to keep doing stuff because people keep talking about her. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I said, no disrespect because you're grown, you can do whatever you want. But I, I really wish that the message is that women nowadays that are having children were setting with a little bit better because 
I don't want anyone's children to go back. And it's like, no, you won't have sensitive children and stuff like that. But if, I, you know, a child was to go back and to read a message from their mom, like, dang, you literally just gave birth to me. And you're talking about you want to go spend the block. You want to get discharged. You can go spend the block with the guys. Like, what is that really saying? Like, you can't just be at home with me. Like, I was, you know, baking in you and now I'm out. Like, take some time and spend it with me because... There are going to be plenty enough days, you know, if her music continues to stay up and she continues on this growing path that she's on, there's going to be plenty enough times where she's not going to be able to be at home or be with her children. So, and she's already seeing that now. And regardless if you say like, oh, she has her child with her on the road, that's not the same as really taking time and spending it with your child, you know, being at home, especially when they're first born or at any age. Because once she's on the road, yeah, she's going to be thinking about her child and her children and stuff like that. But in the same breath, she has to focus on her, you know, her set, her dance, if she's going to be hitting some moves, what songs are going to, you know, she has so many other things to think about. So, you know, just putting these messages out there, you wouldn't want the child to be able to find these messages later on and be like, dang, this is what she thought when she, I was, I was just a day old, like. I don't know. It was just something kind of crazy that I thought. And it's just like, I don't know. The comments were just going back and forth, but not so much as what was going on to Rashawn Lock. And I'm like, is this people getting more and more accepting of women going ahead and getting pregnant, having these children, and then being like, oh, I'm going outside? Because it's like, that's what's wrong with some of the kids nowadays, is that their moms was outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dads was outside and stuff like that. And I don't want to put... Like, oh, well, what about the dads? It's both parties. You know, at the end of the day, both parties are responsible for how children grow up. But the women nowadays who are, like, making these money and stuff, they seem to go after this money way more than to be at home and nurturing the child, nurture your child. And you can always go out to these award shows and stuff like that and go out, but it's like the baby is fresh out, like, and you want to go hit the block. Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video respectfully.